Can red light therapy really have all of these benefits? Well, I admit that it almost sounds too good to be true. There have been thousands of clinical trials supporting these claims. Red light therapy is very much legitimate. And we're gonna get more into the specific benefits and how it works as we go through this video. But from a personal standpoint, I used red light therapy religiously when I had my double jaw surgery back in 2021. And I swear it helped me to heal so much quicker to the point where at my follow-up appointments, my surgeon was very impressed with how I was progressing. I was able to go back to eating solid foods sooner than what is typical. And I really think that red light therapy played a big part in that. Also last year I fractured my hand and same thing, I used red light therapy on it every single day. If you were watching my videos this time last year, you might remember seeing this contraption on my hand. And yeah, that was a fun time. But again, I think it healed quicker than it would have otherwise. Now, before we get deep into what red light therapy is and the benefits, I want to quickly address one thing. You can't just use any red light bulb to get the results we're talking about today. The light has to have very specific wavelengths. And we'll get into what exactly these wavelengths are and how to know if your device is legitimate later in this video. But let's take it back a step. What is red light therapy? Red light therapy is a treatment that uses specific wavelengths of natural red and near infrared light. Red light is beneficial because it enhances our energy production on a cellular level. It increases our cells ability to create ATP. ATP is short for adenosine triphosphate, which is our cells energy. The more energy our cells have, the better they function. And this is why the benefits of red light therapy are so widespread. And while it's only gained mainstream popularity in recent years, red light therapy has actually been around for decades. In the early 1990s, it was used by scientists to grow plants in space. Since then, it has been used by top level athletes to aid recovery and estheticians for skin treatments. Only more recently has it become more available to the general public. So red light increasing ATP is where all of the benefits stem from. One of the most popular benefits that it's used for is improving our skin health. Red light increases collagen in the skin. And this is important because as we age, our bodies produce less and less collagen each year. And this lack of collagen is why our skin starts to wrinkle and sag. So it makes sense that more collagen equals fewer wrinkles. Beyond wrinkles, it also helps to prevent and improve acne, cellulite, and psoriasis. It can even help to reduce scarring, heal cuts and burns, and even sunburns. The next benefit of red light therapy is that it increases hair growth and can prevent hair loss. And then one of my favorite benefits and the reason that athletes use it is it improves fitness performance. Red light therapy has been shown to increase strength, endurance, speed, and muscle growth and it also helps with muscle recovery. Red light therapy has also been shown to improve sleep. It improves the body's ability to produce melatonin, which is the sleep hormone. Another benefit that has been gaining popularity is it improves thyroid function. It does this by improving the body's ability to create and regulate thyroid hormones. And these are just a few of the benefits. We can't cover all of them, there's just that many. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can't get the benefits of red light from any red light bulb. There are two wavelengths of red light that are important here. The first one being red light that is visible to the eye, and this is in the mid 600 range. And the second is near infrared light, which is not visible to the eye. And this is in the mid 800 range. The difference between the two is that red light, which is the one you can see, is absorbed by the skin, it's beneficial for more surface level concerns. So this is basically anything to do with your skin. Near infrared light, the one you can't see, penetrates deeper. And this is where you'll see the benefits including muscle and injury recovery, improved joint pain, anything that is deeper than the skin. Most at-home devices nowadays do have both wavelengths. So you basically get all of the benefits at once. All right, so those are the benefits, but how do you actually use it? Is it time consuming? How does it work? All it takes to reap the benefits is to stand in the light for at least five minutes a day, but up to 20 minutes. The more surface area of your skin you can cover, the more your cells absorb the natural light. Now it's important to note that to really get the benefits of red light therapy, you need to be using it on a consistent basis. A one-off treatment isn't really gonna make a difference. 
which is why at-home devices are so great. Now look, I'm gonna be totally transparent here. Red light therapy devices, they're not cheap, but I do think that it's very much worth the price. I've been using red light therapy daily for five, probably six years now. Like I said, I absolutely swear by it. But that said, I do understand not wanting to break the bank, which is why I always recommend bond charge devices. These are priced a lot lower than other competitors on the market, but they are still the same quality, if not better. This small targeted device is what I recommend if you're wanting to just dip your toes into red light therapy. Once you've given this a try, then you can upgrade to some bigger panels. Like I said, this has both red light, the one you can see, that is good for topical issues, and near infrared light, so that's gonna be what's coming out of these bulbs. <laughs> this goes deeper. Really, really easy to use. I love all of my bond charge devices. So if you wanna check them out, you can head to hckate.com forward slash LRT. I'll put that link in the description box down below as well. And as an added bonus, if you use code HCKATE15 at checkout, you're gonna save 15% off your order, which ends up being a decent amount, especially if you're buying one of the bigger panels. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. But now I wanna hear from you. Have you used red light therapy before? What benefits did you experience? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any other questions about it, leave those there as well. I'll try to get back to as many as possible especially if you leave them right after I post this video. That's usually when I'm in the comment section and trying to respond to people. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.